McDonald's. Yes. And it's piping hot. Mm. Diet soda. I got a Big Mac with some fries. The ability for her to throw back the food is always so, it's so intriguing to me even now. Like as of the year 2024, watching her do live streams and then seeing a big girl literally just take an entire plate of food and just have it evaporate off the face of the plate in like record time. It's always so impressive to me. And I think this is where Foodie Beauty is in her element. I just wish she would contribute a little bit more vocally speaking because when I watch people eat food, right? I think they're there for like one of two reasons. It's either the people are watching them because they're genuinely interested in the person eating food. And maybe they're just like, I don't know, they find it a contributing factor to them eating food or something like people do that, right? Or they're beating off. I don't know how else to say it than that, dude. I mean, there are literal groups of people out there that have weird fetishes. And you know what? In, in correlation to the other fetishes around the planet, Beating off to watching big women eat food is pretty low on the bar, low on the totem pole of things that you're doing that are weird when it comes to beating off, right? I've seen women farting on cakes. I've seen guys have sex with shampoo bottles and things such and so forth. So watching a big woman eat a thousand calories, that's literally almost no food at all. And I always have a problem with Mickey D's food in general because the large fries, everybody knows the fries at McDonald's are the best, but the problem is they're 500 calories and they're not really that good of quality. They turn into flaccid penises right after. So you have to literally be body slamming them ASAP before they get flaccid and nobody wants to eat flaccid fries. And then the burger itself, uh, Big Mac, it's all right, it's all right. But for 500 calories, not all right. I would always go for the QP. The QP is the way to go. But if you are a person that likes a Big Mac, that's fine. But the problem is um, it's really, like 500 calories and 500 calories, a thousand calories for nothing. But you know what? It's foodie beauty, so I can't really say much about it. Yeah, the way she goes for that sandwich is insane, dude. <laughs> um. And you know what? what's really problematic as well is that she's like really, really right now, uh, as a time of this making this video, she's like really, really diabetic, like super diabetic. Like if there was such a thing as super diabetes, I think that she would have it. Um, and she just, I guess, doesn't care. Like she doesn't, it doesn't really matter to her that she's literally on death's door ringing the ring doorbell camera. Like God is there looking through the peak hole. <laughs> the diabetes is like serious, but she still finds reasons to body slam copiously large amounts of calories. And if that's what you want to do in your last final moments on life, that's I for me personally, right? There was that one guy over there in Russia a few years back that beat off 57 times in a day and he died. I don't know how exactly he died. Just kind of imagine after the fourth, if you don't know, okay? If you're not familiar with the male anatomy, um, after you beat off past three or four times, at that point, what, what comes out at the end of that is just a because like, what are you even doing at that point? Like it's got nothing more to give. And uh, I don't know how he managed to get up to past 10. I don't think I've ever even hit double digits ever in my entire life, even in my worst moments. But even to this day, if that's the way he wanted to die, if that's the way he wanted to go out, that's fine. You know, I mean, I wouldn't recommend going out like that. I wouldn't recommend going out like that in general, like ever, but it is what it is, right? I heard that even to this day, he has women outside of his house praying to the honor of his name for what he managed to do. So, I mean, you know, it wasn't for nothing. It wasn't for, uh, for, for like little to nothing. You know, he has women that pray to him and that's beautiful. But anyway, let's watch Foodie Beauty eat more food. Total 12. So like a lot of people might thinking, a lot of people might be thinking like 1100 calories is not too bad. Foodie Beauty is a very short girl and she's also... She's already obese, right? And when you are a shorter person and you are also a woman, you don't need to be eating that many calories. It's very often you'll find women that are literally around her height range, which is like 5'2", five, 5'1", five, that could be eating something close to 1,500 calories, and that actually might be too much for them because 
you're living a sedentary lifestyle in America. And I know she's in Canada here. So even there, and then you also got to acknowledge this. She's in the car and I'm probably guessing that she didn't really even leave the car to get the food. She probably just went to the drive through. So you're literally driving to the place. You're driving to get the food. You're driving in the drive through. You park at the car. You're just sitting down the entire process and you're body slamming food. What are you burning like five calories or moving your hands going like this the whole entire time? Not many calories. This woman is living a literal entire sedentary lifestyle. No encouragement of movement. And the only walking she does do is like going up and down the stairs or like I guess even reaching over to acquire the phone to hit the next order the uber eats order but you know what it's fine like I, I want people to make bad decisions like I mean obviously I don't but I'm saying like I want people to be able to make bad decisions I just really hope that if you're in the position to be making bad decisions you have the you have the choosing of the good decision and the bad decision like if you know that you pick up the phone and you see like that uber eats order and they're giving you ten dollars off but you know that you're probably gonna order fifty dollars worth of stuff anyway that's probably not even like you know and then the uber eats guy's probably rubbing his nut snack on all the all the greased up foods probably taking a couple sips of your soda I've seen seen it happen multiple multiple times right you know how many times that i know i don't order uber eats i've never ordered uber eats in my life i know it's a flex but um i've seen many many people i know them personally that will get their orders and they'll be missing something almost always and sometimes you might get lucky i knew a friend that actually got uh he ordered from this wing place he's black he ordered from this wing place and he got somebody else's order which was double what he got and he was telling me he's like bro this guy Bro, I just came up, bro, I got double. And I was like, oh, you're gonna return it? And as I asked him if he was gonna return it, all you heard was, Ugh. like he was already body slamming that shit. He wasn't gonna return that shit. No way, why would you ever return? You just got free food. So sometimes you get lucky, most of the time you don't. Sometimes you're gonna get the Uber Eats guy rubbing his nutsack on your shit, which might, might or might not make it taste better. You never know, especially if it's an Indian guy or maybe even a Middle Eastern man. But the point I'm making is, if you have the decision there and that you can make a better decision, like if you know if you went downstairs and you can make your own sandwich or you can choose to have your own particular type of delicacy that you can create at your house, I think that probably it would be the better option to go downstairs, create the concoction, put your own deluxe spin on it, and then eat it yourself. And it, you feel better too because you put in the work, the effort, the, 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 the concoction, the ability for you to understand what you're making and then put it together. That is so incredibly satisfying, right? Is it not? Is it not? I know there'll be some people out there going, no, fuck no, David. I don't want to cook my own food. I'm not a plebeian like you. Okay, well, if that's the case, it is what it is. But I think in most cases, it's probably a little bit more fulfilling to create your own food and then put the deluxe um, del del the deluxe delicacy within your mouth. To, and then you feel, I don't know, personally, I feel better when I cook my own food. And it's also more filling too, especially if you cook the right food. Like this burger is not very fulfilling. Like you, if you're eating a burger and fry at McDonald's, I could probably, I remember one day when I was at my absolute level of obesity, dude, and I was trying to gain some weight, I went into McDonald's, right? I had the reward points, obviously, right? 20,000 right now on the app. I'm not even playing with you, right? And I had ordered two QPs, okay? Quarter pounders with cheese. And then I had ordered a large fry, which I got for free because I'm a G. And then to top it off, you know what I got too? I got the apple pie because the apple pies were a dollar at the time. And you might be asking, David, what else is there? What else is there for the side? I got a Big Mac, okay, for later. I managed to eat in that one sitting, the two QPs, the large fry, and I, I ate the apple pie. Now, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with math, that's probably around 17 to 1800 calories that I just ate in one sitting. And that was, I was done by the end of it. I was pretty sick as well. It kind of fucked me up. I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. I was walking around like I was Stephen Hawking. I had to crawl across the floor. I was speaking in slurred pattern because the amount of grease that was dripping down off my chin. It was crazy. It was like I was eating out, who's that one squid bitch from uh, The Little Mermaid? I was eating her out. That I probably would, would have been more nutritious to eat out Ursula from The Little Mermaid than it would have been eating this food. But I did. And I did it and I felt, you know, like I felt accomplished after it. Obviously, when I get up, my head was like, I felt lightheaded. Like I, I stood up and I was like, oh, you know, but the point I'm making is it's not worth the food. Like there's little to no food within this. And I know that for somebody like Foodie Beauty, who's used to eating high quantities of food and calories, this 12, this, this 1100 calories is nothing because she's still going to be hungry. She's still going to have the body slam copious amounts of calories after this to satisfy herself. You know, what's really crazy is that Foodie Beauty now has a, uh, she has the hijab on, which is great. You know, must want to be Muslim, Islamic or whatever. Dude, that, that, that hijab is doing so much work for her, dude. It's really covering up her final form here. 
All right. <laughs> you know what's crazy is that you have you're looking at a full half of a pizza and you're still licking your hands. Like it, it, you don't need to. There's so much food. Damn, sometimes I real deal be looking at Foodie Beauty. And I'm like, she looks so pretty. And then she turns her head and I'm like, damn, there's so much face. It's no, in a loop. She's already out of breath and she didn't even start eating yet. Give? They never give napkins. <laughs> Why does it matter if you need napkins, dude? Should it matter? I literally saw Foodie Beauty one time tell me that she was like, she used her panties to like wipe her ass cheeks at that point why does it even matter if they didn't give you napkins or not dude forget about the napkins just lick your fingers like you were just doing before i don't know if i'm supposed to ask nasty guys god you know it. damn her hands are so big i'm always dropping something like <laughs> drop it drop it low girl drop it drop it low damn dude see can you imagine the person at the front desk taking this order? Like, uh, you want what? Um, is there somebody behind you that you're ordering for? Like, who'd you come in with? Just yourself? This is just for you? Are you sure? Um, I don't know. I have to talk to my manager to see if this is some kind of like, is this some kind of like early death sentence for you? Is this like, well, wait, why are you ordering this? That's what I'd be asking, man. Ah, uh, I don't want the sauce to mix with my other sauces. <laughs> First world problems. Seven fifty for the for the pizza. A lot of people sleep on the pizza costs. It's really like two to two hundred to three hundred calories per slice. So this is actually really really liberal in the sense of like what they're giving the score on that pizza because she was eating half a pizza. But we'll give it that. Three hundred calories for onion rings. I don't care what anybody says. Fries are superior. Damn, that nest tea is actually crazy high calories for what it is. Jal jalapeno cheddar sauce the boneless chicken bites i don't know why anybody even gets anything other than boneless to be honest i'm just so offended when i see people sucking on like i know a lot of people that do prefer the bone and i don't know why um you have to suckle around something now granted if you're doing like a sex scene and there's a guy and like maybe it's like a sex scene in like a kfc or something like that and a guy comes in and he's looking around he's licking his lips looking around like this and he sees a big woman in the corner and she's looking over at him right she's looking over at him and she takes the piece she takes the chicken wing right out of the uh out of the bucket and she looks over at him and just goes like this like <sighs> and then when she removes it from her mouth that like that right it's clean like it was in her mouth for literally two seconds and that guy just starts shivering like, oh my god damn you know what i'm talking about because she'll skin your shit she'll skin your shit that's what most men are dreaming about in their life um anyway i don't even know what we're talking about but oh yeah i forgot about the peppercorn ranch sauce of course damn and she, you know, a lot of people might be thinking, come on, you know, the, the sauces are really not much, right? She licks the sauces clean. I literally saw this woman just uh, licking the, the inside of the sauces to cleanse them. <laughs> Damn. The fast forward really, you know what? This actually makes it a lot more tolerable for me because I don't really like watching people eat. So this is pretty good for me personally. Why even bother having a fork? Damn, she can... There's so much food, too. And it's like nothing for her. Damn. I want to also point out, at her peak, which was around the time of this making this video, right? This video came out three years ago. She was making... I think somebody had told me that she was making around twenty to $30,000 every single month. And that makes a lot of sense, given the fact that... I don't know why um she would make that much but i'm saying it gives it makes a lot of sense in the in the correlation to how much money she spends on the food because you might be looking at this and going how much does this cost probably 50 60 bucks no problem if she's eating this shit three four times a day which i wouldn't even doubt um i would probably put this shit at like 150 300 a day at most and uh you can't do that shit daily unless you're making some high denominations of money and usually i always say this but when you start making a lot of money, usually lifestyle goes up as a correlation to that. And these people, they have some money problems, dude. I, I, I don't know how else to say it than that. Sometimes the people with money are the problem, right? 
because I see oftentimes when people start making money, they're irresponsible with their money decisions, right? And the reason why they weren't irresponsible with their money before is because they had none, right? I know a guy, I knew several guys actually, that used to just pay women's bills like all the time. And that's fine if it's your wife, your girlfriend and things such, such and so forth. I'm not here to tell you how you're gonna spend your money, but if you're in debt, and you have to make payments and you have credit card payments and you have other payments and things such and so forth. You're taking care of people and you you tell me like I just gave this girl four hundred dollars to get to pay for a car note and I go, why? And you go, because I like her. And I go, oh, is that your girlfriend? No. Uh, are you guys having sex? No. So like why are you paying her car note? And then you go, I just like her. I just really like her. And then you hear multiple guys say that, or you know multiple people. I think I have hair in my mouth or something. When you see multiple people, I know a guy personally that spends, I think, $1,000 every single month on marijuana. And that's fine. Do go ahead. Spend your money on whatever you want. But when you're in debt, when you're in debt and you have children and you have a, a wife and you have parents to take care of, $1,000 a month can go a long way. You could buy a lot of stuff with $1,000. But who am I? Who am I? I like hoard all of my money because... I grew up really, really poor, and I have absolutely no problem spending money on other people. But for some reason, it's very hard for me, especially if I'm seeing the tangible, the tangible, uh, actual product IRL. Like there's been many times where I was out with somebody, and I'd go, "Yeah, buy that. Yeah, you that would look great on you." And then for me, it's like, ah, I don't really need this right now. Like it's not really practical for me to buy more underwear. I don't really need them. And then I'll then I'll go home and I'll go look at my underwear, and they'll have holes in them. And the same thing for my socks. Like I have so I have holes with my socks and my clothes too. Like I pretty much wear the same shit every single fucking day. And I um, don't get me wrong, it's not the same thing. Like this hoodie obviously is the same thing. I only have like one maroon hoodie. I think it's maroon. But I have a whole bunch of clothes that are just perpetually holds. And I have some clothes that I've been wearing since I was 16 because I don't want to get rid of them. And it's like, why should I? I don't know. They still fit. So like, why would I not wear them? And um, I don't know. I just have a hard time spending money on myself. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. This is actually um, a lot of calories for what she ate. So I'll give her that. It's better, but obviously still not good. Uh, you know, you can't really eat like this for a long time. You know that? Like, you might be able to pull that off for like one or two, three years. The fact the fact that Foodie Beauty has been able to eat like this for, a, a, I don't know, like legitimately the entire portion of her life, like since she's been an adult, is actually insane to me. That is just a testament to the pure durability and the will, the force of will of some people to stay alive. Because I, I just cannot believe that somebody can eat like this consistently and still be alive. But good for Foodie Beauty. So today we have Wendy's. Wendy's we nuts hit your mouth. I'm sorry. Got the spicy chicken sandwich. I, what I love about Foodie Beauty is that she's consistently out of breath. Like, like it, it kind of seems like whenever she's like looking upon the food, you know, it, it's always so enlightening for me to see that. By the way, this is the same car where she met up random dudes. I don't know if you guys know about the lore, man. I've been learning about the lore. We do live streams on this channel every single, not every single night, but we do the live streams like pretty much almost through four to five days a week. And I've been watching this woman, I've been documenting her, and I cannot believe how many men she meets up with randomly. And she just like, has no morals. Like she met a guy in this car before, and he just hit her up, and they just met up, and then they started making out in the car, and I guess she fell in love with him. I don't know, dude, I don't know. But it's always so crazy when I find out more and more stuff about her. Also, these eyebrows ain't it. She, it's kinda, I did say something about Ursula earlier, but one of their classics and their chili cheese nachos. Did she have um male pattern baldness? Somebody told me that she has male pattern baldness because I look at her recently and she has no hair and that's fine. It's okay to be balding, right? Not everybody has really good hair genetics. Not everybody can be blessed with Ronald Reagan hair genetics, but it's so weird to me is it is it really because her diet and like her like inability to take care of herself and her hormones just got perpetually fucked up which i wouldn't even doubt because when you do get really really fat your hormones are always out of balance it's right it's like literally waking up like four hours early every single night so like if you were supposed to get eight to ten hours you're realistically only getting like five or four so i see foodie beauty and I look upon her and I go, it's great that she can actually articulate and she can say words and she can operate in society at a relatively like visual level that I can concur with. Like, okay, this makes sense. Like a person operating like this. But I know she's probably dealing with a ton of problems because I've heard her literally talk about her joint pains, her back pains, her blood pressure. Like I've heard her talk about this shit, but I guess she's just not 
She's not talking about it a lot, but I know she's probably going through a lot of problems. So is it real deal because of uh, male pattern baldness? That's actually hilariously terrible, but uh, <coughs> nonetheless terrible, uh, terribly hilarious. You can make that same spicy chicken sandwich at your crib for probably 200 calories or less. Nah, it depends on what kind of bread you're using. It might run you because the bread alone is going to be like 140 and then the chicken might be like an extra 200. Eh, it might be I. Chili cheese nachos. God damn. The way she throws it back is serious. <laughs> Maybe I'll film that. Healthy stuff. <laughs> How long do you think she's in this parking lot for? I want to do some what I eat in a day, too. What I eat in a day. So. What I eat in a day. All gone. Damn. She fucking destroyed that shit. 810 is not bad, but she's probably going to be eating multiple times a day. So, I mean, 810 for a fucking entire meal? Nah. Hello, hello. <laughs> I have a special one for you guys today. Today I have lobster. Oh, yeah, she got the sea spider. Red lobster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this rock lobster tail. I don't like it. I don't like it. Do you guys like this stuff? Do you guys like lobsters? I don't like them. I don't like them. I like looking at them. They're cool to watch. And I, there's like a guy on YouTube that makes a whole, like, he has a whole entire channel dedicated to like buying lobsters from the grocery store and then putting them in his like exhibit or whatever. And he feeds them and then they, they come back to life and they're so awesome. It's so cool. It's so great to watch, but I don't like, I don't like eating them. To me, they look kind of freaky, like big aliens with long legs. I don't like them. So I got the, hold on here, I'll prepare. At least there's some green stuff in it. So I got the. Wait. Damn, that chin is so crazy. So I got the. <laughs> Which one? Lobster Lover's Dream, I think it's called. What? Just putting salt on my broccoli. Salt? Because it's uh, lobster fest. Gotta have the butter. Why is she so out of breath? And la How long? How long has that butter been in there? Is there such thing as butter that never goes back to the hardened state? Because I feel like uh, maybe it's just warm. Okay. So yeah, so that's what I got. So it comes with yeah. a rock lobster, rock lobster thing, another lobster thing, <laughs> and <laughs> this. Shrimp. Lobster and shrimp linguine. <laughs> Damn. And you know Usually seafood is like lower in calories, but when you start like throwing butter at it and you start like marinating it in this sweet, sweet bliss of the cow titty milk that's been marinated and fermented and then like melded into butter, usually it's a little bit more high in calories. Usually. Oh. But you know what? I this is like my favorite aesthetic for her. The the red lipstick, the the black, the jet black hair, dude. I think that if I'm gonna be honest with you for a second, I think Foodie Beauty could be hot. I think she could be attractive. I think she could be mm, hubba hubba. You know what I'm saying? I think she could be real deal attractive. It's just real sad when I see people go through their entire lives and they sup they what they do is they they're actually what they're doing is they're taking their youth, they're taking, because, like, even though Foodie Beauty's, like, in her 30s here, like, her late 30s, I, I wouldn't even doubt that she probably feels like a 60-year-old woman or, like, a 70-year-old woman at the amount of trauma that she's been imbuing upon herself. Like, the massive amount of debuffs that she has on her body at a consistent pace is, like, all the time. So she's trading her youth, her beauty, and all this other stuff that comes with that for food. And, like, I get it. Like, food is cool, I guess. But I always think that if you're going to eat food, you should be you should be looking at the food for what it is, which is a fuel source, right? It's supposed to be fueling your body. And you get out what you put in, right? So if you put in the improper fuel, it will still fuel the car. It will still fuel you. But it's probably not the best given that it's like killing you, literally. It's actually killing you. But, um, you know, hey, man. Foodie Beauty's made it this long. I hope she lives. I hope she lives a long, like, fulfilling life. But at the rate that she's going, dude. Um, I don't know how she can supplement this diet for as long as she has with these terrible, disgusting foods, man. Any red lobster meal would not be complete without... She got more? Damn, that arm. The Cheddar Bay Biscuits. That's insane. That's insane, dude. 
1480? Okay. Whew, that biscuit is crazy. I would just be licking the drywall at that point. You can't make anything at your house? Like, I get it. You're making mukbangs, and I get that it's, like, probably profitable. Like, people are probably watching this. But at what, at what level do you just look at this and go, so people are watching me eat high-calorie, high-denomination foods, and I'm making a lot of money while doing it, but I'm literally dying. So, like, what do, <laughs> it might be okay to do this for a certain period of time, but to make an entire career out of it is, like, how long do you expect this to last? You cannot do this forever. This should eventually, something's going to give because you can't continuously live like this and expect something. And it's really crazy too, because we worked so hard, so long as a human race to get to the point where we can do stuff like this, right? For like the majority of the human like species, it was just like, oh, Philip died yesterday. And you're like, what? Philip died? What happened? Oh, I don't know. Like he was walking down the street and he tripped over a rock and the rock like cut his ankle. And then we try to like, you know, blood leech him because obviously that's what we do. And then, you know, the witch doctor came in. He threw a whole bunch of SpaghettiOs on his head like this. And then he died. And he was like, oh, um, that sucks, dude. And he's like, yeah, you know, Jessica? And like, yeah, what about Jessica? Um, she had diarrhea. So she's dying three days from now, obviously. And it was like, for all of time, that's basically what it was like. Or it was like, you were just working on the field for your entire life, sacrificing goats to the gods to appease them, to yield better crop, to somehow marinate the fields with the beautiful, like, lustation of fertilization for the, for the wheat fields. And then you'd go like four months without any growth at all because the fucking weedles or whatever those things were came in and they ate all your crop and then your you and your family died because you couldn't feed you couldn't feed your family anymore and then that was like a basic thing that was like something that happened a lot and then now we reached a point where you could just sit at home record yourself body slamming 2000 3000 calories consistently day in day out and uh you know I look back and I go do you think your great great grandfather and grandmother are, are like the people down your lineage you know what I'm talking about cuz it took a lot of people to get you to where you are now right it's it, people sleep on this but there's a long line of people that had to have sex with each other and reproduce to have you which is beautiful right I enjoy that you're you're here right now it's it's quite a privilege to have you in my life but I look at Foodie Beauty, right, and I see all these people that sacrifice so much and so much time to get you to get you where you were now, even in modern history, right? And then I think, do you think that your ancestors are looking at you from the clouds and going, this is what I wanted. This is, oh, Foodie Beauty, this is so great. This is so beautiful. The way you body slammed those thousands of calories, even though I had to suck on a potato for four days at a time. You, you know, you, you body slamming this beautiful lobster thingy, coating it with layers and layers and layers of butter. This is beautiful. Or do you think that they're looking at you like this? Damn. This is what we did? Ah, oh, man, dude. That's I sacrificed so much. You know, I, I I didn't have a foot for the for the second half of my life. You know, and I, I, your 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 mother had eight yeast infections at a time. And I, I I don't know. Like, how did this even happen? Like, that's what I would be asking. But you know what, dude? It's a beautiful it's a beautiful life we live where we can even do stuff like this. Isn't it? Damn, I forgot about the pasta, dude. <laughs> you gotta go for the salad, too. I mean, at that point, you might as fucking well, right? I mean, it doesn't even matter at that point. The salad ain't gonna really be helping, but... Alright, guys. <laughs> 1,600 calories, dude? At least you got a little bit of greens in there. The broccoli from earlier in this. I guess it's alright. I mean, it's not alright, but at least she did something for herself. Hello, guys. Uh, so, I've been... <laughs> She's already so out of breath. in my opening. Uh, I've been craving chicken nuggets, like, so bad. So bad. And so... So good. Show us the receipt. I wanted to, I want, because she'll, she real deal be lying, dude. She'll say some shit like, oh yeah, I got a diet. I got a diet this time. Let me see the receipt. Let me see the receipt real quick. Cover up the credit card information. Cover up your name. Let me see the receipt. Is that a diet? Let me know right now. Is that a diet? Show me the receipt. <sighs> it's not that good. It's soda. Serpy goodness. Useless calories doing nothing for you. Yes. Big soda. What is it though? And Damn. 
chicken nuggets. Damn. Just chicken pounds. nuggets. Like that's just, it. Just chicken nuggets is quite a beautiful statement when, when it's a 20 piece. A 20 piece. Okay. Now you might be thinking, David, how much is a 20? A thousand. A thousand. A solid stack right off the top. A thousand calories for a 20 piece. And then she got the large, the large drink off the side, which is probably, uh, I don't know, dude. Usually a can is like 140. I would go as far as say that's probably like double at least, maybe two, 240, maybe 240, 300 calories. So 1,300. And I got some barbecue and oh, some yeah. sweet and sour. There we go, right there. Nah, 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 nah. It's not. It's a thousand. That's a stack. That's a stack. And then the drink, too. Kylan, the drink. How much for the drink? Damn. Fuck it, dude. Don't even say the drink, I guess. How easy is it, too? Damn. Them sauces real deal be drying out quick. <laughs> so, guys. That was my little story and my little 20 chicken nuggets move Can you imagine when somebody asks you, like, hey, man, um, what do you do for a living? Like... What's your job? Because like I, you know, me and Cheryl, the wife, me and Cheryl, the wife, I got an office job, you know, I got to work on like analytics and stuff like that. Uh, it's terrible. And, you know, Sarah, Sarah's a, a veterinarian, you know, she takes care of animals, saving the world, you know, how it is right. Anyway, what is your position? Like, what do you do for a living? And uh, Foodie Beauty goes like, you know, um, I just make video. It used to be back in the day. If you told somebody you made videos for the internet, 99% of people thought you did porn, which actually might not even be a bad thing. Cause then they just think that you have a big penis unless you're a girl. Well, in that case, they don't have to think you have a big penis. Cause how could you, unless you're talking about girls nowadays, there are plenty of women nowadays have big penises. I've met them and very convincing people. I remember I was talking to this one girl one time, dude, and she was beautiful. Absolutely extraordinarily feminine in every single way. But I remember I was talking to her and she was like, listen, I gotta let you know, like you're a really nice guy. You know, you're really cool to talk to, but I, um, I gotta let you know that I do, I am imbued with a large genitalia. And I was like, what do you mean? Like you got a big clitoris or something like that? Cause I didn't know a guy, he refused to eat out his girlfriend because she had a giant clit. And he told me himself that he, when he first started dating her, he didn't know cause he never went down there, but she was like, you know, you go down there real quick. Like, suckle and suck a tash on my shit and he went down there and he said it was like like a thumb like hovering above the vagina you know and he had to go like like he had to do one of those and he told me it was undelightful for him and he said it kind of felt like he was sucking dick a little bit and he said he couldn't do it anymore after that first time and he he said that the woman his girlfriend felt really really bad about that and i kind of see why honestly speaking like i think as a as an adult, you got to sacrifice a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong. If your girlfriend has big meat and you don't want to suck dick, that's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But if your woman is imbued with a giant clitoris, I don't know. I'd have to be in the moment, right, dude? Because sometimes if you're in the right moment, you might be doing things that you probably wouldn't do ordinarily. And then maybe you regret doing those things later on, if that makes any sense, right? Because then you start questioning your moralities. You're like, dude, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did. I remember I peed in this girl's mouth and I thought, this is what she wants, right? She wanted me to do this. I'm going to do it because I'm going to fulfill her desires. And I know this is what she wants, right? I didn't really want to do it. I was doing it with flaccid penis because like, I couldn't believe that I was even doing it. And don't get, I wasn't doing it on the bed. That's disgusting. I did it in the shower. And then after I did it, I felt like a supervillain. I remember I was like laying at the edge of the bed and I was like, I can't believe I just did that. Like, why would I do that? man? That's terrible. It's really so bad. And I never did it ever again. And she didn't want to do it ever again because... Sometimes you need to experiment. Sometimes you don't, you think you have a kink, but then when you do the kink, you're like, this is gross. I don't want to do this anymore. And that's okay. Not for everything. Obviously I'm, I'm willing to do a lot for the person that I'm with, but some things are just obvious. No goes for me, but I don't even, what are we talking about right now? Um, I don't know. I don't okay. know. Whatever. 930. I'm adding an extra hundred on that. Probably an extra 300 given the soda too, that we didn't even count in, which is really important. I have pizza hut so first yeah, how, you know foodie beauty real deal looks way older here than she does nowadays i can't even believe that dude that that hijab she got on man it does a lot of work for her alfredo uh-huh chicken alfredo and breadsticks <laughs> so i'm gonna grab some of that <laughs> what do you mean some? right now damn the way, the way her fingers look with those little acrylics, like the pointy nails, they look so weird to me. Is the pizza. I got some pizza that has beef. And Doesn't even look good. What do you mean it has beef? 
They just threw beef on it? And garlic, no pork on our pizza. Why does it matter? Why does it matter it has no pork on the pizza? I, I, I don't understand sometimes with these people like, if foodie, if foodie beauty, if you're sitting here telling me that you're about to body slam 2,000 calories, but then you feel superior because it doesn't have pork on it. You're not doing your body a favor because you didn't put pork on it. Your body is on life support. Okay, because you're about to body slam a large cheese pizza and you're about to body slam literally thousands of calories on top of that with pasta. And I know you got a soda too. So when, when you sit there and you go, oh, but I don't have pork on it. I don't care. That doesn't even matter to me. Why do you think that matters? It doesn't. That's like a guy going to a, a, a mukbang of just penis and sucking off all these dudes. But at the end of the night, he eats out one girl and goes, but I'm not gay, right? Because I ate all that one girl. Like it excuses all the BBC I sucked on. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I'm sorry to say it. It does not. I'm the only pork that my boyfriend deals with, okay? That's... All right, foodie booty, bro. It's not the flex I think you think it is. Um, What are you even trying to say about that? Like, are you trying to say that you're a pig? Is that what you're saying? Is that really something that we're bragging about? It's like when I met this girl and she said her vagina was a hot pocket. And I was just like, that's really, like, out of all the things you can call your vagina, you know what I'm saying? Like, there are many terminologies that you could have used. Like, it would have been way better if you said you had that macaroni and cheese shit, because at least macaroni and cheese, in my opinion, like, because you know what you're talking about. When somebody says, like, oh, yeah, I got that macaroni and cheese, I got that wet, wet, people will say, like, oh, damn, that should probably feel real good. But when you say, I got that, I got that hot pocket, I'm thinking, like, man, you got that ham and cheese? You got that, like... You got that. What do you, what do you what do you mean by that? Like you got that steak and cheese, like you got pepperoni and cheese, like what what kind of that you ever look, take a hot pocket, go microwave it for 2 minutes, cut it in half, look in the middle of that shit. I never once and I thought about this quite a bit actually. I've never once looked inside of a hot pocket and thought this shit probably look real good to just slide in real quick. I I never thought about that. I never thought I think that's probably gross. That's like five UTIs stacked up on top of each other. I don't know, man. Sometimes I think you just got to get better words, you know? You just got to come up with better terminologies when it comes to vagina. Like, I get it's real easy for guys to come up with terminologies. You know, massive megalodon meat or, uh, I don't know, uh, long john silver, the the, 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 the the girthliness. I don't know. There's a there's a ton of words that men can use for to enlighten their penises. But for women, it's I guess it's pretty limited because it's like I don't even know – some some vaginas are better looking than others. Most guys don't really care about the 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 the, the outline of a vagina since it's like I don't you know most of the time um like I've never heard of a guy say this vagina is real pretty. Most vaginas are kind of um anorexic in the sense of like the way that they look. So I don't I don't know, man. I don't even I don't know. What are we talking about? I don't even know, man. <laughs> and for dessert, why you need dessert too? Why'd you even buy this? They let you buy this? Man, dude, they really don't give a fuck about you, dude. So the pasta, the pizza, and this giant cookie cake. God damn, foodie beauty. God damn. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? I've never had this before. It's not beautiful. It's not something I would use when it comes to beautiful. When I think of beautiful, I'm thinking about Henry Cavill. I'm thinking about maybe Arnold in the 1960s. I'm thinking about probably a whole assortment like, you know, Michael B. Jordan, um, some woman actors, obviously, too. Some, you know, whoever, whoever you think is really attractive as a woman. I don't really like I know people might think that's gay to say, but I don't think it's gay to say because I think it's really hard for guys to be really attractive. And if guys are really attractive, I feel like that's like head and shoulders. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's way above women being attractive because like women are already beautiful in general like I, I struggle to find even an average woman is like most most of the time going to be extraordinarily beautiful compared to the same guy right so I always like to look at men as like uglier women so when I see a really really attractive beautiful just ugh, detailed man I always think like whoa this guy like I got to use him as like the you know like the guy that I'm going to talk about when it comes to beauty standards and things such as so but there are a lot of beautiful women of course um, I don't know. So there's, there's a few come to my head. Some, I don't know. I'm new to this. Uh, I'm new to the whole cookie pizza thing. And I'm, when I saw you should have never even been new to it at all. You should have looked upon it and you should have said that is vile. That is disgusting. I can't believe somebody would have thought about even doing that. You should have let your mouth looked at that shit and went, nope, <laughs> nope. Your nose should have been the only thing that would have been a uh, bear witness to it. Had cookie pizza. I was like, what? What? And you decided you was going to lick it? You, you decided you were going to throw that shit in your mouth? Okay, now that I'm hidden behind a mountain of food. Oh, 
Peppercorn ranch. It's never enough. Garlic bread, 350. Alfredo pasta, 520. Pepperoni ranch, popcorn. Damn, the ranch alone is crazy. Ultimate Hershey chocolate. Damn, you know what? That this this chocolate chip cookie cake is real low. I thought this show was gonna be easily five six hundred calories. The pizza, I'm not surprised. I would actually add an extra two hundred on this just to make it even. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Damn, damn, dude, crazy. But this is what people want. This is what people want to see from her do. Did she go for it? Damn, she went for another slice. She had two slices on the plate, and she still went for another one in the box. Damn. How much does she eat of this, though? You take a shower after this? Like, after watching this? I feel like, I feel, I feel a little dirty. I feel a little bit sweaty. You know, how do you not have, like, heart palpitations while eating this? I feel like your body should naturally reject this. It should recognize that what you're doing to it is, like, harming it in some way. And instead, like, she just embraces it or something. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it's just, like, it's just, like there's, no, there's no, like, pause or stopping for her. And she chews with her mouth open, too. 2,465 calories just for one meal, too? I'm not surprised. Damn, bro. She real deal be looking big as... Dude, look at her now, right? Look at her in 2024 with the hijab. That hijab is cover is doing so much, dude. It's doing so much work for her. And she uses filters too, apparently. Like Samsung filters or something like that. Which is crazy. Because like, what if the filter catches you in the wrong light? And then suddenly you start looking like a, a Sasquatch. Hey guys, this tray is kind of a fail. So I'm gonna try to eat fast. Okay, this guy walk. <laughs> this guy walking by is like, damn, bro. This, this bitch cut a fucking whole tray for the McDonald's. That's crazy, bro. That woman is big. Beauty bite. I'm kind of holding it. Let the gut hold it up. Why you even need one of these if you got a stomach, right? Isn't that one of the pluses of having a big stomach? Is you just kind of put food on top of the stomach and just kind of lay it out and just start eating off the stomach, right? Isn't that the the plus of it? I thought that was a I thought that was what it was. It kind of looks like she's holding up with her with her gut. This much food. Hi hey guys. I'm behind the box. So I'm kind of eating a late dinner. She got that fish fillet. I'm having McDonald's. I'm having fillet of fish. Yeah. Um. Damn. <laughs> the way she looked at it, it was like I'm gonna put it down, psych, and then she just started swallowing it. Fillet fish is my favorite. I don't think they're good. I don't like them at all, man. I I dis I did I dislike the fillet fishes. With a large fry. Of course, gotta have the large fry. Dip it in the ranch. Man, this is diabolical. This is absolutely diabolical, dude. This woman, real deal, is sitting in a car with a tray of food of e eating two fish fillets, a large fry, and whatever this is. Every too sweet and sour to dip. She got sauce on the side of her mouth. Better than ketchup. Damn, bro. Even the camera don't want to see it. Mm-hmm. Damn. That's what I'm having. Flayo fish is 800 calories. Fries, 560. Sweet and sour barbecue. I'm surprised she's still alive, man. This is eye-opening shit. Yo. Damn. You can see the trace. <laughs> the tray is not working, bro. Just throw that shit in your gut. Hey guys. I'm done. I can't watch this shit anymore, bro. This woman is literally an anomaly. I sometimes I gaze upon Foodie Beauty and I'm like, dude, how does she look like that? She looks so depressed. How can you eat this food and not feel bad after? Cause like I know when I eat McDonald's, like in limited counts. I remember when I was a probably around 16, 15 or 16, right? I used to go to BK a lot because there was one down the street from where I live, and I used to go there and I used to work for this one couple, this really old, nice couple, right? And they used to pay me $20, 20 whole dollars to rake their leaves, shovel their things, whatever, right? I used to go over there and they used to pay me $20. It was sparse. I'd go like maybe once every month or every two weeks or something like that. And uh, I would go and I'd take that 20 bills. And I'd go to BK, right? And I would order, because at the time, the, B, the B, BK had um, 
double Whopper Juniors for a dollar, okay? And I, I, obviously tax. So I could probably get like 18 of them for 20 bills. And I, I'd go in there and I'd be like, let me get let me get 18 of them things, right? Let me get 18 double double Whoppers, right? And a lady on the counter every single time like, <clears throat> what'd you say? And I'm like, yo, you don't act like you don't know what it is. Like throw it in a bag. Just throw it in the, yo, I'm about to body slam three right now, like in the, in the restaurant. And I would do that shit. I would ride up on my bike. I would go in there. I'd, I'd body three or four of them. Come back. Give a few to different people and things like that. I was like handing them out like I was, uh, I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know, Mother Teresa or something. To, like people I knew. Like, you wanted this burger, dude? I got a fucking burger, dude. And I would body slam in a day. Probably 10 of them things. Probably 10 or 10 to 15 double cheeseburgers in a day. And I didn't feel bad at the end of it. Probably because I was super active at the time. Like, I was really, I was out and about, dude. I was on my bicycle. I was running around. I was, like, being a delinquent. But nowadays, given that I'm an older gentleman, um, not too much old, obviously, but you know what I'm saying. I know that when I eat Mickey D's now, my body is busted. Like, it's hogwash at the end of that thing. I'm literally, like, sleeping. Um, That shit got me leaning over when I eat that shit, you know? Like, I'll start out like this, and at the end of it, I'm like that, like this. I'm, like, leaned out. Because um, the food is just so heavy on my soul and it hurts me deeply when I eat it. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm satisfied when I'm eating the food. But afterwards, I just feel like I don't even know what you want to even call it. Like, I feel like swamp water. And um, it makes me feel kind of dirty also that I know some people that can just be body slamming fast food all day. I know a dude personally that when he goes to Mickey D's, he gets a QP, he gets a Big Mac, he gets a large fry, and he'll also go make a spin around a block, go to the Dunkin's, he'll get the large ice latte, spin it around one more time because he swashed it down in the drive-thru. Do you know the people that just drink down the drinks in the drive-thru so they got to make another run around in the drive-thru to get the next, the next drink? I mean, I know dudes that literally have told me that they're going to buffets with their families, and they got to spin to the Mickey D's real quick to get a Big Mac or a, a quick sandwich on the way to the buffet. And because sometimes you just need something for the road or something like that. I don't fucking know. I never in my life heard somebody say they need to go eat before they eat. That's crazy. But anyway, that's what it was. That's what people do nowadays. And I don't know how these people could feel so good after they eat. Like, I don't know if they're operating at like 20%, but I need to be operating at like a good 100% at all times. Like, I hate being impeded by my own mental capacity or my physical capacity even. So I always like to be on it, which is one of the reasons why I don't practice drug use or anything like that. Um, I'm, I'm strictly speaking, I'm like a granola bar. I'm like all natural. You know what I'm talking about? I know granola bars are not all natural, but I struggle to think about things that are all natural when it comes to our current environment and food delicacies. I don't know, like watermelon, even those are like kind of GMOs. Like you think, you, you think you're eating a watermelon that's like nine feet wide? You think that shit is normal? It's not, okay? It's not. Don't, don't sit there and say it is. It's not, okay? You're sucking down a GMO watermelon. It's not, it's okay. Um, I think personally, at the rate that we're going right now, we need better terminologies for certain things. Like you ever go to the the, the the banana section and you see the organic and then the non-organic? I think they should call the non-organic BBCs, BBC sized. Because at that point, I can recognize it, right? Because they'll be like, the regular bananas will be like that big, right? Like this big. And, but the BBC ones are double stacks. Like you can easily double stack them up. And when you peel them, you just be, you know what I'm talking about? You can easily swash down like one of those bananas, like two or three of the non or sorry, two or three of the organic ones. Fuck that. I ain't buying organic. Never. I ain't never buying organic. You can never catch me with organic in my cart. You always going to see the GMOs, the BBC bananas. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like comment subscribe sharing the video all of those things i'd appreciate tremendously so if you could do any of that stuff for me i would appreciate you tremendously um i want to thank everybody that's a member thank you so much for making the commitment to be with me for the rest of your life also thank you everybody that's subscribed you are beautiful people thank you for viewing this video today anybody i don't care you if you do subscribe or become a member or anything like that i love you regardless um if you watch the video in its entirety i want you to write down below a ball or whatever this is um like a what is this thing like you put it in a cup like i have a, a a blender cup thing and then you put it in there and you shake it up but i didn't put any like i this just water in here today with with some like celsius and stuff like that because i like caffeine i don't know it sets me right personally speaking uh i don't do too much i know some people that drink more than a gram and that's really terrible but i don't i drink like 400 at most every single day usually don't even have it that much um in terms of like i always have it every single day i probably have an addiction but um you know what i'm actually addicted to if we're gonna like real deal talk about addictions like i have to actually tell you something um, it's been weighing on my heart. It's been hurting me deeply. And I think that's something I need to talk about. And I'm glad you're here to actually bear witness to this. I 
am addicted to you. I'm addicted to you. Every single day, I, I wake up and I have a picture. You can't see it, but there's a giant portrait of you on the wall. And every day when I wake up, I look at you and I get bricked up. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm looking at it right now. I got to stop. <laughs> I got to stop because you're just, too, you're just, oh, oh, you just make me feel so alive sometimes. Like I gaze upon you and I just can't stop looking. I'm just like sitting there in my bed for 45 minutes and there's starting to be holes in my ceiling right now. And I'll let you know why, you know, I'm not going to say why, but you know, there's holes in my ceilings. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, you got great bone structure. You're giving me great bone structure. I love the way that your body is formatted to becoming healthier and more pronounced and uh, liquidation of the body in terms of drinking down water because most popular, most people here in America are chronically dehydrated because they have no idea what how much water they actually need. And sometimes people just don't even drink it in a day. That's why I always force myself to indulge in the sweet, the sweet delicacy known as water. So I always suck it down as much as I possibly can. I'm glad that you do too. So... Thank you for being responsible. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being lubricated. And thank you for being so H-A-W-T. You are beautiful. You're amazing. And I specialize in specializing with you. Anyway, guys, uh, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, my Twitter, my Discord, my second channel. Try to follow me on Instagram. I'm almost 1,000 followers on Instagram. So if you could follow me on Instagram, I would appreciate you tremendously. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. 